How's it going guys, it's PBK and today we're going to be taking apart the Xbox One X. Okay, first thing you need to do, remove the two screws on the back. There's one over here and one over here covered by an Xbox sticker which you need to remove. And the screws are the T10 Torx screws. Okay, once you got the back two screws out, you're going to slide the frame forward. And slides off like that. Okay, next there's six T10 screws you need to remove. These ones have flat tops on them. You have one here, one here, one here, one here, and you have two over here. Go ahead and remove those. And these screws are going to be the long ones. Okay, next, go ahead and remove the two T9 screws over here that's holding this cable down. Disconnect the cable. Okay, now on the front of the unit, you have three T9 screws. You can also use a T8 screwdriver, it doesn't matter, both work. Go ahead and remove those. Once you got those removed, go ahead and lift up this latch over here. That's locking down the flex cable. Once you have it lifted up, you can go ahead and disconnect this board where it's connected. Once you disconnect it, you can slide out that flex cable. This is where it connects to the inside main board. Okay, so now from the back, you're going to lift up the frame. It's going to separate from the bottom. Just like that. Put that aside. Okay, now on the side of the unit, you have three T9 screws you need to remove. Let's get those removed. Pull this off. Now go ahead and flip the unit over on its back and you have two T9 screws you're gonna have to remove. Go ahead and remove those. Okay, once you got those two screws removed, from the front, lift up the top of the frame. Just work its way out, slide it up. And now you have access to the fan, the power supply, the disk drive, and the hard drive underneath. Okay, now you have 11 T9 screws you need to take out. Go ahead and remove them. Okay, now you're gonna lift the disk drive up, move it aside. You're gonna disconnect the power cable over here for the fan. Now once you got the power cable for the fan disconnected, go ahead and lift it up. You can lift the power adapter with it. Now the power adapter, has a cable from here running right to here. You can just peel this part off. As you can see, you peel this layer off and the cable, you can remove it. So you can separate these two. 
Now I have access for the power cable and the data cable for the this drive. Go ahead and disconnect those. Okay, now go ahead and disconnect the cable for the hard drive. And disconnect the data cable for it. Now you're left with the main board, the heat sink, and the mid frame. So if you want to remove the heat sink off the processor, you're going to have to Flip it over on the back, remove these four T9 screws. Okay, now once you got the screws removed, flip it back over. Okay, now once you have it flipped over, you can remove the main board from the mid frame. Now on the back of the board, you're gonna have to remove these metal clamps. I can flip it over and you're going to have to pry it off. And here's the processor over here, back of the board. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and reassemble this. On his back. Okay, once that's in place, that's your mid frame. You're gonna slide all the connectors in the back in first. You're gonna make sure they're in their slots and then lay it down to rest in place. Now flip it over. You're gonna put the four T9 screws back for the block and the heat sink. All right, go ahead and flip it back over. Okay, now when upgrading the hard drive, there's gonna be 14 9 screws on the bottom you're gonna have to remove. You don't need to remove the wider screws because those are just for the shock absorber. So just go ahead and remove the four screws that are directly attached to the hard drive. So it's going to separate from the hard drive and it's going to give you access to disconnect the cable. Now you're going to connect your SSD and attach the cable back onto the SSD. Put this bracket back over. 
and screw those four screws back in, securing the hard drive to the bracket. All right, so now you're ready to reinstall the SSD back into your system. All right, now go ahead and connect the power cable and the data cable for the hard drive back in. All right, next, connect your disk drive back in. Put both cables back on to the main board. All right, next you're gonna put the power supply and the fan back in place. All right, once those are back in place, Plug the power cable for the fan back onto the board. And then go ahead and sit your disk drive back in place. All right, now you're ready to put the top of the frame back in. Put the back in first. Add the front back in. Make sure it's nice and snug. Okay, now on the back where the fan is, yeah, you can see. Go ahead and put those two screws back on. The somewhat longer one is going to go on the side where the fan is. And then the shorter one. We'll go on the opposite side. Okay, now go ahead and flip the unit over. Now go ahead and put the screws where the hard drive is. Back in to hold the hard drive in its place. I got one more T9 over here. You have one over here. You have two over here in the corner, which hold down the power plug connector area. We got one over here. We 
We've got one over here. Part of the hard drive area. Okay, now reconnect the Wi Fi module on the side. Alright, put the black screw in the corner. Put your two silver screws over here. Tighten them down. All right, now go ahead and attach the other Wi-Fi module on the front. Make sure it clicks in place. And you're gonna put the Hold screws in. Okay, now you're gonna take the whole assembly and you're gonna slide the front in first. And you're gonna make sure these black tabs over here go into those black tabs over there on the inside. Now once you got that in, you're gonna wanna connect this cable back onto the Wi-Fi module. Once you got it in, push down the tab to lock it in place. Next, connect this cable back on top. Okay, now you're gonna take the two short flat T9 screws. You're gonna tighten this cable down in place. Once you got those in place, go ahead and put your long T9 screws back in. Okay, so now you're gonna get the top cover. Push the other side in, let it fall in place, and it just slides on. On the back, you're gonna go ahead and put the two black screws back in. And just screw them in and tie them in and you're done.